Hello folks, welcome to Venice here in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is full on photogrammetry mode here. It's looking amazing in the H145 helicopter by the High Performance Group. This is definitely one of the best ways you can tour in VR. As you probably already know, as I've raved about this bird so many times on the channel. But anyway, we've got two subjects today and I'm going to quickly go through them. I don't want to take too much of your time, but look at this. Wow, the views are astonishing. The first one being a company called VR Rock has very kindly sent me a pair of their VR lens inserts for the Reverb G2. Now, what they do essentially is provide glasses wearers with a better way, a better solution to enjoy VR because you do not need to wear glasses anymore. You can just dial in your prescription lens and maybe add a nice blue light filter while you're at it and put them straight into your Reverb G2. They fit really easily. In fact, I'll show you a bit of footage now. They come in a very nice little case. I do love that. And they're really nice quality, I must say. And they just attach your Reverb G2 very, very easily. Um, they're very similar, actually, to the VR Wave lens inserts. In fact, here, I'll show you how similar they are. The one on the right is the VR Wave, and the one on the left is the VR Rock. <laughs> you wouldn't actually turn them apart. And I've been testing both of them out, actually, uh, flying around Venice now for about an hour switching between them both and I can't tell the difference to be honest so really um, I guess that's a good thing in a way because I do like the VR Wave uh, solution but the VR Rock is also very good I've got a 5% discount code actually as well if you're interested there's a link in the description below that is affiliated so feel free to use it or feel free not to but either way you're going to get a nice 5% discount and actually I think the VR Rock lens inserts are a little bit cheaper in terms of the quality, in terms of the visual fidelity and how they feel, to be honest, I cannot tear them apart. VR Wave or VR Rock feels exactly the same in the headset. I must admit though, it is a brilliant way, especially if you've got nearsightedness or farsightedness or you need a, a specific you know, prescription uh, lens. I think this is a great way of, because I can't imagine using glasses in VR. That must feel really really uncomfortable to be honest so yeah i would recommend them actually i've been flying now for a while with the vr rock lens inserts and they're just as good as any others i've shown particularly vr cover and vr wave um, and they are a little bit cheaper as well so what's the next subject well this is about the nis scaler at the moment you are seeing the windows mixed reality mirror as i'm flying around venice here really really low down and I've got motion reprojection on, something that people say you shouldn't or perhaps not recommended to enable. But to be honest, well, you can see here, everything is silky, silky smooth. However, I do feel that my settings are helping. So I'll show them now. These are my NIS scalar settings. Notice how I've got my sharpening down to 25%. Now, this is something that I think people need to watch out for. Some people have got their set at 50 or 60% thinking that it is sharper. Well, it probably is a bit sharper, but it's really distorting the image at that kind of level. You're going to get graininess. You're going to get, uh, well, the colors of the Reva G2 definitely suffer as well. Um, so I recommend personally, particularly people who have a really high-end card like a 3080 or 3090, stick to 100% render scale because that, after all, is uh, you know it's doing its own thing in terms of uh, replacing the render scale in the sim and it's providing a better performance i can't use 100 percent render scale in the sim in this area without the nis scaler with motion reprojection on i just get too many judders but as you can see here this is so damn smooth so i know it's probably unusual my settings aren't what other people are using but it works for me feel free to try them Really, and that's about it, guys, to be honest, in terms of my NIS scalar settings. Just to let you know, my OpenXR settings when I'm using the NIS scalar are at 100% in OpenXR. As I say, motion reprojection set to automatic. And the result is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful here. Everything is crystal clear. The Reva G2 looks so good. It really does. And uh, very, very smooth with this beautiful motion smoothing technique that we all love now, or I love it anyway. It's absolutely incredible. Let's have a look outside, guys, just so you can see how smooth this is on the mirror. That is spectacular, look at that. Oh, 
low as you like over the Rialto bridge and it's so ridiculously smooth so yeah just to recap I do absolutely recommend the VR rock lens inserts I do have a 5% discount for them um, if you so desire to purchase yours uh, feel free to use that it is an affiliated link um, but as I say you get a nice 5% discount and as far as the NIS scale is concerned I use it all the time now for the Riva G2 100% and 25% sharpening with OpenXR 100% and 100% in the sim as well remember folks though I am using a 3090 I think for anything lower than that perhaps a 3070 Ti uh, if that even is the thing is, it, is there a 3070 Ti? I know there's a 3060 Ti oh I don't know but anyway for sort of you know mid range 30 series cards and top end 20 series cards maybe back that render scale off to about 80 to 90 percent definitely because the 3090 is a beast when it comes to uh, performing really well in vr you know with high clarity hope that's of some use folks and i'm now going to fly off into the sunset as i always do and i'll see you again very soon bye bye for now that is absolutely stunning <laughs>